All right, so in the previous video, we looked at the first 15 questions. So in this video, we will continue looking at the remaining questions. Question 16, a farmer is least likely to be guaranteed a good credit rating if he, the answer should be, if he is recalled to work out a payment plan for his arrears. Which of the following expense items would be included when preparing an income and expenditure statement for a farm? The answer should be A. Which of the following, question 18, which of the following is most likely performed by an agricultural cooperative? A provides scholarship, B assists farmers in marketing of produce, C enable markets to remain economically viable, and D strengthen the capacity of government support services. Agricultural uh, cooperative will most likely assist farmers in the marketing of produce. Moving on to question 19, which of the following? Statements describe a partial budget. So let's see the first option, a statement in which the projected cost and returns associated with one change in the production are presented. Um, the second one, A, B, the statement in which items are represent, uh, that represent both fixed and variable costs are considered. Uh, C, allows for the profitability of different farm enterprise to be compared and contains all income and expenses. So the most suitable answer here should be A. Question 20 refers to the following information. Uh, so we have the income item, number of boards, 1,000 boards, average selling price per board, $20. So each board selling price would be $20. Other items would be fixed cost and variable cost. Good, so the question. Using the information in the table, the gross farm income for a farmer Brandon's broiler is gross income every um will be all the incomes here so it will be twenty twenty dollars multiplied by one thousand so that should be uh twenty thousand twenty thousand should be your answer here question twenty one the layer in the soil profile that contains the most nutrients for plant growth is the most suitable answer would be horizon O. Horizon B, uh, A. So horizon A will contain a reasonable amount of nutrients as well. It is it will be mixed with organic and inorganic matter. However, the A the O horizon contains uh, the most nutrients. Question twenty two: A bag of mixed fertilizer is labeled seven, fourteen, and twenty one. What is the ratio of nitrogen to phosphorus? Uh, you should remember that this is uh, NPK fertilizer we're talking about. 7 represents uh, nitrogen, the 14 phosphorus, and the 21 potassium. So it's a ratio of 1 to 2. To assist, when it, question 23, to assist in maintaining soil fertility, farmer Jenny planted pumpkin and watermelon along with her newly cultivated coconut crop. So this method, this method would be intercropping. Burning as a form of land clearing is highly discouraged because it, the answer should be D, it would remove valuable nutrients from the soil. Question 25, based on this diagram here, the equipment is used to measure and this should be used to measure rainfall. Question 25, the type of germination in which cotyledons appear above the ground. Above the ground, as a key word here, that would be epigeal. Question 27. Based on this diagram, we have water um, used by the plant to produce food. So this is basically photosynthesis. This process that they're demonstrating is representing photosynthesis and in photosynthesis, we have oxygen being produced here, food along with oxygen. So A would be the answer for question 27. Question 28, the transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of the same plant. Once it is the same plant, that would be self-pollination. The process, question 29, the process by which plants lose water to the air through the stomatas in their leaves is called Transpiration, the answer will be C. 
Question 30, which of the following conditions is not a requirement for the germination of a seed? Um, we have light fertilizer, sufficient moisture, and suitable favorable temperature. The answer here should be B. Question 31, the type of control that involves the use of living organism to control weeds. This would be biological. Answer would be C. Question 32. When a cross is made between parents having single differences, that's the key word here, single differences in traits. This is referred to monohybrid. Which of the following activities will cause soil erosion? So we have overgrazing. That can lead to erosion. Land clearing. Yes, that could lead to erosion, excessive rainfall. So it's one, two, and three. A tall pigeon pea plant with the genotype uppercase T with lowercase T is crossed with a dwarf pigeon pea plant with the genotype to lowercase uh, T. Well, the percentage of the pigeon pea, pigeon pea offspring are expected to be short plants. The answer here should be 50%. 25, which of the following pest control methods are combined in the IPM approach? So the first one, cultural, biological, medicinal. No, medicinal will not be a suitable answer. Uh, option B, cultural, biological, mechanical, chemical. Okay, let's see. C, C conventional, biological, medicinal, uh, no, and D would not be the answer. So the answer here would be B, cultural, biological, mechanical, and chemical control. Question 36, which of the following conditions will most likely exist when crops are grown in, a area, in an area with high relative humidity? High relative humidity, so that will lead to an increase in incidence of fungal diseases. Which of the following outcome is a benefit to farm mechanization? First, uh, more time spent on the farm operations. That, will not, that should not be a benefit. You want to spend less time on the farm. B, increased losses. You don't want more losses. Um, C, increased dependency on the labor force. That should not be the answer as well. So D is the most appropriate answer for question 37. Question 38, which of the following types of chemicals can be applied to treat early blight in tomatoes? The answer should be B. Early blight is caused by fungus, so you, for fungus you use a fungicide. Mm. A field of cabbage show early signs of heavy infestation by cabbage white butterfly larvae. Which are the following symptoms of are the uh, which are the following symptoms are the plants most likely to show? Um, the most likely to show to show severe damage to the leaves and heads. Which are the following instruct uh which are, which of the following instructions for harvesting is more appropriate? The answer would be B. The beans should be picked when the pods snap clean when broken. Question forty one the the part labeled Y. Uh, the part labeled Y. So the food comes in, goes here. That should be the crop. What is the function of the crop? Crush and the ground using rocks and grit. Is that the function of the crop? Mix with gastric juice that is secreted. Puts in a form that facilitates regurgitation. Or D, store it temporarily and soaked before it moves through the digestive system. D is the most suitable answer for the function of the crop. Part 1, which of the parts labeled uh, is referred to the glandular structure in which digestion primarily begins? So glandular structure will be the structure in which, uh, in which enzymes are released. So which one of these structures will be a glandular structure? The structure would be the proventriculus, and W here would refer to the proventriculus, so the answer should be C. In rabbits, most cellulose digestion takes place in the... The answer should be B. That is where you have microorganisms that will break down the cellulose. Which compartment of a cow's stomach uses acid and enzyme to break down food? Rumen? Nope. 
Omesum, nope, that will not be correct. Eticulum, no, the answer should be D. Abo, abomesum, that's a true stomach. Which of the following structure? Which of the following functions is carried out by the part label R? So we have to be able to identify the structure R and R would be the yolk. And the purpose of that would be A, provides nutrients for the developing embryo. Part the six and part the seven refers to this question here, to this uh, statement. So a drake and a duck, both heterozygous for the trait colored feathers are mated. C represents the dominant allele and the lowercase rep C represents the recessive. What is the possible genotype of the offspring from this cross? So the possible genotype would be C. Question 47. Out of the flock of 12 offsprings, how many will most likely be heterozygous for the trait colored feathers? So we have to look back at the answer um, from question. How many of the offspring were heterozygous? We have two of them. These two were heterozygous for this trait. So if two of them or heterozygous, we multiply the two by three, so we have six, so the answer should be B. A likely disadvantage of artificial insemination in cows is, the answer is D, more technical skills will be required. Eggshells can be used as a food supplement for layers because it supply the egg supplement, it will supply calcium. Question 50. Which breed of pigs is reddish brown to golden yellow in color, large framed and of medium length, muscular, and has partially drooping ears? The answer for question 50 should be A. Question 51. The disease that affects rabbits that is characterized by runny droppings containing blood and mucus is most likely So this disease most uh, mostly resembles that. So the most suitable answer for question 51 would be D. 52, Farmer uh, Banton reports that the feed conversion ratio of his sheep and cattle is eight to one. This means that the animal consume eight kilogram to put on one kilogram of live weight. A should be the answer. 53, which of the following is not a function of candling in poultry production? A, detecting our abnormality. B, determining fertility of the, of the egg. D, C, con determining the correct cons uh, consistency. And uh, D, checking whether the eggs are developing properly. C would not be a function, determining the correct consistency of the egg. Which of the following criteria are factors that influence the nutrient requirement of an animal? The level of production that should influence it, desired rate of growth that should influence it. So I believe all of them would be, um, would be influence the nutrient requirement of the animal. At 3D's poultry farm, the records show that the average live weight of 1,000 birds is 3 kilogram. While the feed consumed by all the birds is 12,000 kilograms, what is the feed conversion ratio of the birds? Uh, so the live weight is uh, of 1,000 birds would be 3,000. So it's 1,000 multiplied by 3, that's 3,000. So it should be it's, it's, uh, 12,000 to 3,000. All right, so the answer here should be uh, 4. To one. 56. The broiler boys with signs of blisters on the face, legs, and other body parts are most likely infected with uh, that would be foul pox. 57. The worker B in the hive uh, uh, in the female. The worker B in the hive is the female that is fertile, no sterile. The function of the drone. The drone have a function to mate. 
And 59, which type of ration refers to the feed that is used day to day to keep the animal healthy? And um, this looks like maintenance. This should be maintenance ration. And uh, question 60, the live weight of the goat is 50 kilogram. The dress carcass is 30 kilogram. What is the dressing percentage? The dressing percentage would be 60%. So those are the suggested answers for the remaining of 2023 paper one. As I mentioned at the beginning of part one, if you have any disagreement with any of the answers that I provide, feel free to uh, state the answers that you think are, should be different and provide an explanation. Be respectful in the comment section. Thank you for listening.